Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be working underneath our deck and it's always been a space that's really hard to kind of know what to do with. And if you have a space like this, you know what I'm talking about. And our deck especially is, you know, way up high. So we have these high posts. And then what do you do underneath? In a recent video, we had worked on the landscaping in front of this area. And this is kind of a continuation of that, just moving on into the under the deck space. And I plan to turn it into a kind of a little garden room or a potting area where I, you know, pot plants. And I also end up doing some of my soap making out there. So it's still gonna be an area that's gonna be used a lot, but I also wanted to pretty things up. So let's get right into it. So as you can see, this has kind of been a catch-all space, just random things sitting around. Definitely time to do some organizing. So I'll give you a brief history of this space. As you know, this is my home place and we did not have this deck growing up. John and I put this in after we moved to this property, which has probably been around 16, 17 years now that it's been here. And the first number of years, we didn't do anything underneath. It was basically just dirt. And we really debated, you know, what do we want to do with the space, being that everything was just on a slope. We decided to just level things up and go from there. So John put some boards along the bottom to hold some dirt to level things up. And he ended up meticulously laying some flat rocks for a sort of a floor, which didn't work out the best. It was just kind of hard to set things down, being that it still wasn't, you know, entirely even. Ended up even having a space where we could sit. I made my own patio furniture, nothing fancy, mind you. And of course, you know, things got wet, so it wasn't really handy with that. We've talked about putting a ceiling in to actually make it, you know, rainproof, but just haven't gotten around to it. We still have this large barn door that we picked off of someone's trash pile. They were going to burn it. So that's still functioning as a sort of a wall on the one end. Since we have just put pea gravel in, and that has worked out a lot better. The nice flat rocks that were used here for the floor ended up being used out towards the Etsy shop, that bank where John did that pretty landscaping. Uh, those all came in really handy for that space. And we even have some leftover that we may use eventually to replace some railroad ties out by our driveway. What I have in mind here is making a lattice wall of sorts along this side. And we have these old lattice sections from years ago. Trying to think where we had used them. I think maybe underneath our front porch deck section. Uh, where the hydrangeas are but anyway we've had them stored all these years uh, thinking maybe eventually we'd want to use them and i think a couple of these pieces are going to come in handy uh, to create a wall i'm giving them a fresh coat of paint Of course, I'm gonna use my paint sprayer to apply the paint. And if you want a good sprayer like this, I'll have a link down below in the description box. I always get one every oh, three to five years maybe, which I use it a lot. I don't always do this, but I notice some clumps in the paint and I'm not gonna risk it. If you get one little clump in your paint, your sprayer will not work like it should. As the lattices were drying, I decided to give the posts a coat of black stain. I knew it would be easier doing it before attaching the lattices. And I'm gonna make it a little harder for us here, but I do wanna add a window in the center of the lattice. I think that would look really pretty. I ended up using my Silhouette Cameo to get the shape of the window that I wanted. I wanted a fancy curve in it. I didn't wanna just go with square. 
and John helped me cut this out. He used the hacksaw. So we're planning on adding this trim before we cut out the opening. That way the lattice doesn't you know, fall apart. As you can see, we have the arch there. I'm now ready to add the sides and the bottom. We'll probably do the same thing on the inside. As I was cleaning out under here, I decided to fix up my green stalk planter. You may remember this from last year. I had intentions to fix it up this spring. It didn't get around to it. My neighbor was recently telling me about a kind of lettuce that is more heat tolerant for summertime. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant it full of lettuce. We had planted some lettuce in the garden this spring and most of it was eaten by groundhogs. We had maybe one or two meals of it. Uh, really disappointing so hopefully they won't get to it up here on the deck i do have an affiliate link down below in the description box if you are interested in this planter but it is pretty neat how it works it's of course a layered planter and i'm choosing to just go with four tiers for now um, i do have five of them and i have the one that has the wheels and then there's a whole watering system where you pour water in the top and it soaks in through all of them and then there's a hose that goes out the bottom um, it's really neat. I wanted to spruce our basement entry up just a bit since it's kind of connected to the under the deck space. And I found these pretty pots in Lowe's. I ended up cutting the root balls down just a bit in order to fit them into this pot. These plants are called Green Luster Hollies. So I'll show you how this looks here before I get started on it. But here I have this old farmhouse table that I made years ago, and it's really wobbly. I'm surprised it hasn't broken down yet, but um, it is really handy, you know, to do some potting. I'll show you what I plan to do. I found this pretty antique sink at a barn sale. Check it out. Oh, I just love pieces like this. I know it's got some rust. Um, it's definitely far from perfect, but I'm just really liking it. And they have mismatched faucets, which is okay for now, but I'll probably keep my eyes open for either one of them. I kind of like them both. Um, I really like this one that says cold on it. 
If I could find one that says hot exactly like this, I would probably replace this one. And at the same time, I kind of like this too. It looks really vintage. And you may have guessed what I plan to do. I want to put the sink and the table, like cut a hole into the table, put the sink in there. And I actually want to hook up a hose, which I have a hydrant over here on the wall. Um, hook this up, you know, to the sink so that I actually have water out of the one faucet. And then I'll probably run my drain, you know, out of the sink and then out into like over the graveled surface here. It's kind of late here in the evening, so not sure am I gonna finish this tonight or not, but I plan to possibly probably take this board off first here, probably cut it down to size. I don't want it this wide. I want it to look more like a potting bench or a counter versus an actual table. I think it would be a really handy place to, you know, wash hands or sometimes I'm, you know, fixing pots. And I even do some soaping out here and I just love the idea that I actually have water in a basin. So to fasten my backside here, I'm going to fasten it to the door. I have these two pieces of wood that I plan to put underneath. Uh, just to hold it in place and of course the posts will hold the front in place. My next step will then be to actually cut a hole out for the sink. Not quite sure how that will go at this point but um, we'll see. I'll probably have to keep it to one side being I have a support brace on the underside here. My brother-in-law, Mark, came to the rescue again with his plumbing skills. He added the part to the faucet that I needed to then attach my hose to. I think I'll try to use the rest of the tabletop for a shelf on the bottom. I think that way it would look more like a potting bench, plus it would be a great place to store things. So looking out from underneath the deck towards the back of the house here, um, you can see there's a stone patio in here. And over the years, some of the soil has, you know, washed down um, into the stones. It's not very nice anymore. Uh, so John is going to try to see if he can improve it by just getting rid of some of the, the soil, you know, that washed down into here and maybe fix up this little wall so it doesn't happen again. And maybe put some fresh gravel in between the rocks just to freshen things up. Since we're back here anyway, I'll go ahead and show you the little backyard that I've been treating with Sunday lawn care products. This is not a sponsored video, but I thought I'd show you, give you an update. I did apply the June treatment and I could not be happier with this little lawn. I've said it before, but I love that I am treating it with products that are safe to use, not harmful to all the cute little critters back here. We did have a dry spell here in Ohio a few weeks ago, but I think the lawn still looks really good. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out their products. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's so easy to do. It's actually kind of fun. 
Um, you just attach these bags to the end of your hose, apply it to your lawn, and of course you're outside while doing it, and that's always my favorite place to be. I'll have their link down below in the description box if you want to check them out. I do have a promo code for you guys to use. It is COTTAGE20 to get 20% off. I went ahead and cleaned the brick and the windows and the door underneath here. It's been a while that I've done that. It was definitely worth doing. It looks a lot better. I'm still planning on getting one of those plugs with the chain attached to it. Um, I saw there's a place here on the sink to fasten, you know, the other end of it. And I remember as a little girl, grandma and grandpa's house, they used to have those. And some of my cousins would have them. I always was kind of fascinated with them. This year I've potted up a lot of burning bushes. Um, I have all of these little starts growing on our property and it's just a quick easy little tree and of course you know it doesn't cost anything just go dig it out plant it have a plant with some height so that's what I'm doing here and I have this really pretty burlap planter cover thing I think I had picked it up at a greenhouse not too far from here called Buck Walters in case you're local um, it's been a while that I've had it I've just never used it but I thought it's so pretty Here's a decal that's been around for a while. I don't really grow tired of it. So I created this sign quickly just using an old board, painting it white, distressing it. Now I'm applying this decal. We do have this one available on the Etsy shop if you're interested in it. The ferns you saw me set on either side of the lattice are some that I had kept over winter. I mean, they're not fresh and perfect like new ones would be, but I'm still kind of impressed with how they're looking. I had gotten some house plans from Marlene. I'm just kind of housing them for her during the summer months here. Probably return them come winter time. And these chairs are from a couple of years ago from Hirschberger's Lawn Furniture. In case you're local here. I wonder if you guys remember seeing these soap dishes I picked up in a thrift store and I've had them in storage ever since. There was four of them and I thought how fitting would one be to hang here by the old sink. And I have some fun news to go with this. I'll be doing a giveaway with these soap dishes and a bar of gardener soap. More details coming up. At the point of editing here, we do still have some gardener soap available on the Etsy shop. For the drain part of the sink, I found this flex pipe that we had lying around here. I'm going to attach it to the stem drain part of the sink and from there just run it into the ground. That's the nice thing about having a dirt floor in a potting area like this. You don't have to worry about, you know, water building up or uh, having to put a drain in. Now, as you can see, our gardener's soap does have the string attached so I could, you know, hang this on a hook. But I really wanted to use this pretty bird soap dish. Uh, so that's what I'm going with. A few of my favorite things under the deck here, besides the fact that it looks a lot better, you know, more organized and just prettied up a bit, is this hose holder. It's my galvanized tub. I discovered it works really well to roll up my hose in here and it looks a lot better than just a, a hose lying there. And the other thing, of course, is my sink with functioning water. I love that. I know I'm gonna use it a lot, uh, even just to wash my hands. And again, I do some soaping out here and then potting up plants. It'll just be really nice to have that here. I didn't do a lot out here on this little patio at this point. Um, I just scrubbed these chairs that were down on the pavilion by the pond. We didn't use them a lot down there. Uh, scrubbed those, put those on here, and then added some grasses that I had dug out of the one flower bed recently and didn't want to just toss it out, so I thought I'd pot it up and maybe even use it this fall for a display somewhere. It is a rather peaceful spot back here though. I'm sure we'll probably end up using these chairs now and then.
I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure had a lot of fun working under here. It's such a good feeling to have things a little more in order and cleaned up. As I mentioned before, I'll be doing a little giveaway with those pretty soap dishes. And unfortunately, I won't be able to do it here on YouTube. I'll have to use Instagram to do it. That way I have a way of getting a hold of the winner. So head on over to Instagram, follow me, and leave a comment on the soap dish post. And I'll try to have that marked clearly as a giveaway post so that you know that you're in the right place. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.